You may not know, but April is National Poetry Month. And what better way to celebrate than with a story of two incredible performers out of a tiny school in Northfield. And we're talking tiny, like the entire student population is just over 100 people. Sharon Yu has that story. Angel. Breathing life into poetry. Don't come to the reservation. Stories of coexistence. Quit bothering with angels, I say. They're no good for Indians. They got old. They stories got old. Of death. And died. Whatever the plot. But first. These girls deliver. They composed plangent depictions. Poetry Out Loud is a national recitation competition. Basically what it is, is it gives high school students a chance to find, memorize, and then recite poetry. Meanwhile, their hair got thin. That's last year's Poetry Out Loud state winner, Anna Kochivar. Relations and friends. I think that I was pretty underprepared for my first school one, and then I really <laughs> um, got a lot better after I did that one. Know a guy named Gabe, though. And that's this year's state winner, Bella Caleri. Sure, he had a wing. Two nationally recognized poetry yeah, performers under one school. Incredible, considering the student body at Arcadia hovers around 130. Poetry Out Loud is really, really the, the one place where we at Arcadia compete. So you're talking about sports and, and, and all of those things. This is the one place where we compete. What draws you to the text? I try to let. Never think for once. My emotional recall in that sense, like guide the poem. The lack of whistles and drills means lack of passion. Letting that emotion. Or fight. Blossom a little more. Yeah, I love poetry. I've always loved poetry. I watch it almost every night before I go to bed. I think like through all my elementary school, I had a, uh, a lot of like lack of confidence and then I think Poetry Out Loud really helped gain that back for myself. But quite frankly, how much does that matter? Whatever it is that these two gleaned from poetry. 18 photo albums, big ones, each full of such. They both put right back. Undeniable beauty. Into making their Northfield school proud. These two bring Northfield to a national consciousness. Um, in a different way, in, in, in poetry, in the area of poetry. And they bring Arcadia to, uh, to a greater consciousness, too. You know, I hope to uh, get into the top nine, but we'll see if I can do it. <laughs> but if there are angels up there. Nationals is coming up later this month, but for these two living on clouds, it's not hard to see that they've already found the treasures that poetry or some other hell they've mapped out for us has to offer a lot of poetry is a way for people to take something that they feel that's not so positive and make it something beautiful and something that other people can connect to and i think that's really wonderful very cool so this year's winner bella she's headed to dc and she's going to represent the state of minnesota on april 29th and we wish her the best of luck we'll be right back